everyone. Um, going to do things slightly different today. Um, there was a reason behind this. I'm a bit hyper right now because I've just watched episode 12, series 3 finale of Wentworth. Beware, spoilers ahead. There is going to be, I might say a few spoilers, but before we go anywhere else, a huge, huge, for the episode itself, a well done to Nicole De Silva, um, Daniela Cor Cormac, Pamela Rabe, Cedar Island, Aaron Jeffrey, and Serena Calton. The episode revolves really around those five actors and the way that it's done. My God, there is a theme which runs through an underlying theme, which story arc, which goes from the end of series two to the end of this episode. And the way it's done, my God, um, all I will say is the black gloves come out. And Pamela Rabe, you are a legend, an absolute legend. The way that she's taken the character of Joan Ferguson, she has really, really done it so proud. And the whole thing is just amazing. Um, the other thing which really grabbed me with this whole episode is that I've been waiting for one particular storyline to be done and it happens in this episode. Anyone who knows me, who knows my fascination with Cell Block H and the, the uh, reimagination of, in Wentworth, they know I've been waiting for this storyline for ages, wondering when they're going to do it and if it's going to be at the beginning, middle, end or whichever part of the series it would be. But now I know they've done it. My God, impressed. So impressed. Um, wow. Just amazing. Um, there are one or two teary moments in it for me. But then again, I'm a big soft sod, so there you go. Um, there are just, for me, so, so many, many highlights which have been amazing. The thing which irritated me the most, though, went with Facebook page. Thanks, Australian fans, for spoiling some of the uh, storylines. Luckily, you didn't spoil it all, so it did leave me something to watch. Uh... But God, and I, I thought it was going to get good. I didn't expect it to get that good. So talking about story arcs, there is there was something appeared in episode one of series three. This is a hint, no spoiler, a hint, and it will lead into series four. Like I said, the beginning of series three leads into series four. Not a spoiler, there is a hint there. Pay attention to the whole of series three because it's 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 so important, I think anyway, because it's just, oh! Um, what else, what else did I like about the episode? Just the whole acting from those five particular cast members I've mentioned, just outrageous. Just, just, it, they've taken, the reimagination to a new level and it was absolutely fantastic um when it starts being shown on channel five around the end of big brother i'm guessing again like it has been for the past two series then to see it on a normal size telly instead of a computer can't wait cannot wait um but Overall, Series 3 had its low points, but it's ended on such a high. Um, so many story arcs in Series 3 is... It, it, there are points where it gets really confusing, but the outcome, so, so impressed. And I've got to say right now, any TV soap awards which come up, or the Logies in Australia, guys, you you've got to vote f for it because what they have done, it has even beaten some of 
the UK soaps for what they've done in previous years where it's been an anniversary. Not giving too much away there. When you see the episode, you'll see you'll see why I've said that. So in about 14, 15, 16 weeks time when the UK catches up and actually sees that episode, you'll understand, like I said to my Brit to everyone who I know in the UK who has not seen it yet, seriously, you'll understand that so much when you see the episode. Like I said, it was the one story story which I've been wanting to see since it's been come back because it was the one memory I had and I was so interested on how they would reimagine it and it's just amazing. Um, the one thing I will say, wherever you watch, if you watch it online or if you download it, which I do not condone whatsoever because I'm a good self-respecting citizen, watch right to the very end. There is something there because the Wentworth Facebook page was saying that you'll get a teaser for series four directly after the episode. The person or persons who've uploaded it online. Oh, you, you, yeah, they, they, they did it good. They recorded and uploaded that bit as well at the end of the episodes, which they have uploaded. And I th honestly think series four is going to be fantastic i am so looking forward to next year uh i just wish it would come sooner i i think they should i honestly think they could make at least 16 episodes per se series because where they've left it i don't want to wait till next year i really don't little spoiler um in this episode what B says in episode 11 to Joan Ferguson is you don't get your hands dirty. Two words, black gloves. All I'm going to say. Anyway, for this particular end of series spoiler, I'm going to leave it now because if I go on about it anymore, I will get told off for giving too many spoilers away. And I don't want to do that. But my God, best episode ever of any Wentworth ep episode and seriously oh god just blow me away completely blow me away that has that shows what tv studios can do and to do it how Wentworth is in it amazing anyway i'm gonna end it now and i'll speak to you guys later bye